Welcome to Raj Online Trainings in the series of Java puzzles. Let us go with one more new puzzle in this video. In this puzzle, we are going to create a class Java Puzzle 32 with main method inside. And here we are going with an array. Integer array x equal to 10. The value of x array is 10. And we are invoking a method decrement. We are invoking a method decrement to this. We are passing this x array as an argument. So this x array will go to this argument y. It's going to enter into this argument y. And after that, it's going to decrement the value. And once it comes back, we are printing the value of this x array value. So what is this x dot length? x dot length is what here? 1, 1 minus 1, 0. So we are printing the x of 0 element. And here we are decrementing the y dot length means y dot length is 1, 1 minus 1, 0. Again, decrement. We are decrementing the value. So, just we are, what are the x array element we are having? We are decrementing this value of this x array. Now, let us understand what will be the output of this code. So, what are the options present for this question? The options are like A option 10, B option 11, C option 9, and D option compile 10 error. Now let us understand what will be the output of this code here. So here we have taken the x array 10. So we are having in the heap memory. Let us suppose this is our heap memory. In this heap memory, it's going to have this x array. And that array is created in your heap memory with the value 10. With the value of 10. Now this array, this x array, we are giving to what? To the method decrement and we are passing this x array. This x array will come and store into y. x array will come and store into y. So y is also referring to the same memory, this 10 only. y also will refer to the same memory. Since arrays are reference type in Java, since arrays are reference type in Java, so this will be the reference memory allocated in heap memory. And x and y will be referring to this array with a value 10 here. So when you pass this x array to y, y also refers to the same memory where this array is present. Now when you are writing here, y of y dot length, what is y dot length here? So the size of the array is only one element. So 1 minus 1. So 1 minus 1 will become y of 0. y of 0, we are decrementing the y value of y of 0. So this value will become what now? 10 minus minus. This memory value will be replaced with what value now? 9. So the element present in your array is what now? 9. Now once we come back, once we come back to this statement, system dot order print line x of x dot length. What is x dot length? Is 1. One element we are having. So 1 minus 1, it will become 0. Means x of 0 element we are printing now. We are printing the element x of 0. So what is the value present in x of 0 now? It is now 9. So the correct output of this program is 9 here. Okay. Now let us see the correct output. What is the correct output here? 9 is the correct output. Since arrays comes under reference type, there will be only one memory for this array element. X refers to the same array element. Y also refers to the same memory array element same memory it's going to be we will be having only one memory for your arrays since arrays comes under reference type so if you go with ordinary variables if you go with ordinary variables it will become a, like a local variable and there will be separate memory for local variables but in the case of arrays since it is reference type x and y will be referring to the same array 10 only here right that point we should remember for this puzzle so the correct output is 9 is the correct answer. Please type this code in your system and check whether it is giving correct results or not. If you practice these codes, then only you can remember for long, longer time and you can even remember how the flow of execution is happening. Right? So we'll be adding some more new puzzles in the next videos. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.